Disney fam! Today we're taking a super fun shopping trip through one of the coolest malls in Japan, Eon Mall Narita. From amazing food to kawaii merchandise, this place has it all. Ever wondered what it's like to shop in Japan? Well, buckle up because we're diving headfirst into the world of gachapon, J pop fashion, and so much more. And not to mention a Hello Kitty bathroom? And trust me, you're going to want to see what I found in the arcade and the adorable Baskin Robbins Mario ice cream. Stick around because this mall tour is about to blow your mind. Let's go! Here I am heading to the Eon Mall at night and I was on a shuttle bus from my hotel which was Narita Gateway Hotel and they had a shuttle bus to get to the Eon Mall. I think that's how you pronounce Eon Mall? Eon Mall? Or something like that? But it's a Japanese mall in Japan in Narita. Here I wanted to look at the Daiso and there was a ton of cute little knickknacks, a little cute makeup section. I wanted to see if I liked anything and I didn't find anything that I needed, but there was a lot of cool stuff. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about how convenient the shuttles were from my hotel to get to the mall. There was a bus schedule which I can go back and forth at certain times where the bus will come back and pick people up and drop people up and it was very convenient for me when I didn't want to spend on a taxi. The Japanese Daiso has so much stuff you can do on your own and make on your own and here are some jewelry stuff and there was UV resin which I really really liked. What's crazy is that the shuttles take about an hour to get there because they have to drop off people on certain stops so I got there a little late and on closing time. Closing time was like at 9 so a lot of the stores were ready to close. But I got enough time to roam around the mall by myself and yes, there's not a lot of people but there was a lot of cool stores to see and I really enjoyed seeing all the Japanese stores, the Japanese products and there was an exchange machine where you can exchange money from Japanese yen to you, or I mean from USD to Japanese yen. So that's what makes this mall super convenient because a lot of other malls in Japan don't have money exchanges for some reason. I love the cosmetic stores. I didn't go in, but of course I got to see the outside, but you can see there's different varieties of stores with different items in them. But look at the whole mall itself. It's super clean and there's some like little robots roaming around. And I don't know what they are, but I think they help advertise some uh, businesses. <laughs> This was a really cool store to look at. I really like low budget stores and this was one of them apparently because I think the name just says for itself. But yeah, there was a playground right next to it across from the store. And then there was this really cute Narita icon right across from me, but it's this penguin with a plane. And I think that's their little icon for the Narita Airlines. And there's me walking around with no makeup, <laughs> but I didn't have enough time to put on makeup and I was really comfortable. And here was this really traditional Japanese cultural store and I didn't go into there because they were closing. So when I ran out of time to go in the stores because they were all closing, I got to take a look at all the food. And here is one of the foods in this restaurant and apparently it's uh, an Italian themed food restaurant. But wow, they look super delicious. They look amazing. And I think Japanese just do a really good job on making the food perfectly. And there's something about Japanese food that just have perfection. Yeah, this was Italian type food, but Japanese do a really good job making the food in its own unique way. This was interesting. I think there was like a store for Poppy Playtime. I just saw that. That was a cool sign for me. And then I went to look at more food and I was obsessed. <laughs> So apparently Eon Mall has a very special Hello Kitty bathroom and this was overly 
cute and I was overly obsessed with this Hello Kitty bathroom and they had a lot of cute decals like little stickers for the walls and it was so pretty and especially the men's bathroom I couldn't go in there unfortunately I really was tempted to go in there to check it out but this was the girls version the girls bathroom but I wanted to see if the guys bathroom were the same but I was able to show you guys what this girls version was which was the Hello Kitty bathroom. It was an adventure to go through these halls and then to get to the Hello Kitty bathroom. But yeah, I was wanting to see if that opens. But oh my gosh, they really did a lot. And then here you can see that you can enter here in this really nice girly bathroom. I was obsessed and I was smiling a lot because in my face, I just... I was cheesing out just having my time of my life in this room. <laughs> I don't know what made the Japanese want to make a cute bathroom, but I think girls that are going to use this whole room is going to take like maybe hours and hours to just chill in the room. But even the bathrooms, but not the toilets, unfortunately, that would be kind of interesting. And a bathroom for short people? All right, now let's talk food. I stumbled upon this amazing spot called Delicious. It's a buffet-style restaurant offering everything from pork shabu-shabu to sushi, and you can get all of that just for like about 3,739 yen. How cool is that? I mean, it's like such a variety. Everything from the presentation to the dishes themselves looked so delicious and authentically Japanese. It was hard to resist. Just seeing all the beautiful food displays in the restaurant windows had me starving. Honestly, this mall is like an adventure in itself. There are so many food options, and what I love the most is how different it is from malls in the States. It's not just the food either, there's just so much to see. The Japanese style designs, the organized layouts, and the sheer amount of things to explore here really blew my mind. Plus, it's super affordable unless you're eyeing the high-end stuff, of course. Okay, hold up. If you love cute collectibles as much as I do, you need to check out the Gachapon machines here. There's a whole row of them from anime knickknacks to Sanrio and all of your favorite pop culture characters. And of course, I had to get myself a Disney gacha. It's like, how do you even resist? These machines are packed with the cutest little surprises. Disney, anime, and you name it. <laughs> And speaking of things to explore, this store, Book Off, has all the cheapest stuff that you could ever, ever want. If you're into nerdy merchandise like me, this mall is a gold mine. I popped into Book Off and let me tell you, I wanted to buy everything. The plushies, the manga, the games, but I didn't have enough space in my carry-ons. I mean, how could you not go crazy in here? It's a treasure trove for anyone who loves geek culture. This was my favorite section. This was the all 110 yen or 220 yen section. And all of that costs about like a dollar to two dollars and that's it. And everything here was just all cute and super organized and super clean. They had super cute knickknacks to very unique Disney stuff, un unique um, items, and I was just obsessed and it was all cheap. I wish we had this in the States, but there's just no store that's just like that. There was some really cute Posket figurines, and if you don't know Posket's, Posket's is a little figurine brand that costs like around $31 to $29 in the States, but here in Book Off, 
they sold those Posca figurines for about just like seven to five to three dollars and I was in amazement. I was shook and I bought me like three poskets and I wish I bought more but like I said I didn't have enough room but I was so obsessed. Look at all this Disney stuff as well like ah oh, obsessed! So right next to this adorable candy store, I found the cutest clothing boutique with some great quality designs. The clothes are mostly Asian sizes and let me tell you the fashion here is just on another level. Nothing like the typical American styles, everything feels so fresh and stylish without the, that cookie cutter look. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I found this store called Patty's and it was like walking to Kauai heaven. Everything was super cute from the wacky keychains to adorable hair pieces. There were even Kauai designed nails. I could have spent hours in there just staring at all the cute things. And seriously, it's a dream if you're into Kauai merch. Who wouldn't be obsessed? Next up, I wandered into AN Style, which is their own brand of clothing, and I was shook. Like, I wasn't expecting to find J-pop styled fashion here. And there was cute Lolita dresses, frilly skirts, and fun tops with a casual yet poppy vibe that I saw. I mean, mall clothes in the US are usually so bland. And, but here, even the casual stuff looks exciting and full of personality. And here was even a Minecraft store. I didn't go inside, but I thought it was super cool to see that. And Minecraft is one of the best-selling games of all time, and Japan's gaming culture has definitely embraced it. No wonder they have a whole store for it. I couldn't believe this when I saw it. A skater store with Santa Cruz brand merch in Japan. Growing up in Santa Cruz, this was such a cool surprise for me. And honestly, the designs were super better than what we get in the States. The shirts had such intricate artwork and I almost grabbed one, but they were a bit pricey. <laughs> Okay, I have to mention, there was an entire section of the mall just filled with gachapon machines. Like, it was super cool to see these stacks of machines around. But part of me feels like you could just go to the store and just buy what you want without all the randomness. Because, you know, you don't know what you get when you get a gachapon item. But, hey, where's the fun in that, right? <laughs> You guys, this was the cutest thing ever. There was Sumiko Garashi ice cream themed ice cream. And then there was Mario Party themed ice cream. The ice cream comes in with a green pipe cup, just like the games. And the flavors were so unique. Japan's always got this coolest themed food. And this was so cool. 
Plaza Capcom was another highlight for me and it's an entire arcade that is based on the Capcom brand and there were so many arcade games and so many eye-popping crane games. And if you're into gaming or just love winning cute prizes, this is where you need to be. I could have spent all day there trying out all the games, but I didn't. I also grabbed a crepe for just $3 and oh my gosh, it was delicious. There were so many other flavor options too, but I stuck with something simple and it was worth every yen. Japan really knows how to do dessert right. Speaking of desserts, there's something so special about the ones in Japan. They're on a whole other level when it comes to quality. It's probably why they tend to be a bit more expensive, but trust me, they're totally worth it. Before wrapping up, I had to check out the Ian style supermarket. It was so huge, so many aisles of Japanese food and snacks, and the pre-made meals looked absolutely delicious. I could have stocked up on so many things, but of course I had to control myself. It was like a foodie paradise. But yeah, take a look. So if you ever get a chance to visit a mall like this in Japan, would you? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And I know for me, this was such a refreshing change from the malls I've been to back home. My absolute favorite part of this whole experience had to be the air conditioning, seriously lifesaver. And of course, all the cheap and awesome nerdy merch. It's a shopping paradise. If you enjoyed the small tour, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out any future adventures. I've got a ton of cool content lined up for you. So stick around and don't forget to check out my other videos. There's so much more to come. See you guys in the next one!